Hi everyone and welcome to the 14th lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem finding a centroid. The problem says, you're given a tree of n nodes. Your task is to find a centroid. That is a node such that when it is appointed the root of the tree, each subtree has at most n by 2 nodes. This is the given sample tree. Now in this tree, we have 5 nodes. So 5 by 2 is 2. So for the centroid, the children should have maximum subtree size of 2. So if we check with the first node, this subtree has 1 node and the subtree size for this subtree is 3. 3 is obviously greater than 2. So 1 can't be the centroid. Now if we check for the second node, this subtree has 4 nodes. So the 2 can't be the centroid. Now if we check for the third node, this subtree has 2 nodes. This has 1, this has 1. Now all of these are lesser than or equal to 2. So 3 can be a centroid for this particular tree. Now all trees have at least one centroid and we, we need to find that. Now if we run a DFS for each node to find subtree size for all of our children, we have n nodes and the DFS takes about the go of n times. So it will become big of n square which will obviously be too slow and won't work. Now to solve this problem efficiently, we will be using central decomposition. Let's say I have a node u, which is the root node, and u has children v1, v2, v3, and so on. Let's say it will v4. Now, the first case could be u is the centroid. In that case, all of these children would have subtree size of less than or equal to n by 2. Right, all, all of these and in that case this would, this would be the centroid and the answer to a problem otherwise let's say one of these children has a subtree size of greater than n by 2 now in this case if this particular child has a subtree size of greater than n by 2 then let's say this part of the tree has let's say x nodes then x plus let's say this particular child has the subtree size of y then x plus y we know is equal to n so x is equals to n minus y and since y is greater than n by 2 x becomes less than n minus n by 2 or less than n by 2 so this part of the tree has total number of nodes less than n by 2. Now if we if we reroute the tree with the root as v4 and then this child the subtree size would be less than n by 2. Also since the subtree size for this is greater than n by 2 we know for definitely that u can't be the centroid and so none of these children can also be the centroid. And the centroid will lie somewhere in this particular subtree. Right. Then for V4, V4, we know this part of the tree we have already calculated, so we will no, not go back. And we will look at all the children of V4, the subtree sizes for all the children. Now, if all of them are less than n by 2, then V4 would be our centroid. Otherwise, we will do what we did previously for some child of v4 until we find a centroid right so for this problem we will be needing two depth for search first to calculate the subtree sizes and then to find the centroid both of these who take big o of n and complexity so the total would be big O of n. Now let's look at the code. Firstly, we will call the first DFS to calculate the subtree sizes, and then second DFS would check for the subtree sizes of all the children. 
and if it is greater, it is lesser than or equal to n by 2, the maximum of it, it will return the particular node or it will run the DFS for the node with the highest subtree size. That's it. Make sure to subscribe and share this video. Thank you for watching.